I am back with some more State of Gate 2 and with another episode for The Whisperers. We're on episode uh, 91. Um, but I might up do this as a double upload. Um, and this might have been up ages ago as well. Um, because as I'm streaming this, it's just been not too long ago we had the Xbox showcase. Um, I can't remember what they called it, but they um, showed off a load of new games and stuff. Um, and one of them is State of Decay 3. They, they showed off a new trailer. And I kind of want to kind of talk about my thoughts on it in today's video. Um, I'm just going to go off my ad, really. Because um, I did upload the trailer and I put, what, what did people think? Um, we load in. Because um, this did pop up. Because I... Um, I did play a bit of State of K. We're going to be in some random spot, I think. Um, because I did spawn in and play um, State of K on the cloud at work. Because my friend, well, a guy at work, he had his uh, wireless controller. Um, and we connected it to my phone. And it worked State of K. It was pretty cool. Um, it was just the internet was bad. But, um, yeah, I want to kind of talk about my thoughts on the trailer and kind of do the next episode of the Whisperer series so I might just try and upload this twice so um, I might upload this as like a review and then have this as episode 92 um, so this will be two like this will be up on the channel twice I know it's a bit weird but um, depends on how long I talk about it. if I feel like I can cut it like highlight this bit then I might do that way but I don't know, it might be the whole episode of me rumbling on about it, but, um, but yeah, in general, like, the trailer they did for the second one, I think I really liked, um, I think it was a lot better than the first trailer, um, just because it felt more like State of K. um, whereas, like, I think the first trailer was cool, like, like the idea of zombie animals and stuff, but it never ever felt like State of K to me. Um, uh, but yeah, State of K two trailer, like no State of K three trailer. Um, I think it definitely was quite a. Uh, good trailer in the sense of it be feeling like State of Decay for once because one you had a few people that seemed like they were in a community um, and then you had um, like the vehicle upgrades, the zombies the screamer design, the juggernaut, new juggernaut design it's pretty cool um, I'm just kind of hoping they have a bit of variety in it though because I, I think with State of the K we see the same juggernaut all the time. But um, hopefully like this shows like we still have the old juggernaut design but we have the new ones too. Um, I feel like they'll go into like the curveball stuff where zombies are different and they mutate and they adapt or change. Like I think they're going to go into a lot of this stuff that they've tried to do in this. Um, and I think it will work, like, I think it can easily work. Um, I think what I've seen is they've um, been working with, like, the Coalition, the Grounded team, um, to work on the multiplayer to make it better. Um, but I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do, because I feel like they might make it smaller. A much smaller, like, community and make it more we all have military and tactical training. survival on your own like sort of vibe you. but if you can afford our services i'm kind of worried about that because like, i like the big community build up and stuff so i don't be interested to see what they actually do and even in the trailer like, they showed off like gunplay and gameplay i just don't think it was like it, it, the problem is it's a cg trailer screamer here uh, they said it's in all in-game footage and stuff and assets, but I don't know. 
They can say that for any trailer in the same universe. But that's the thing. Like, definitely seem more like State of Decay though, which is good. Uh, like the first trailer was just like so. It just seemed like a bit of a generic survival game to me, which I suppose you could say State of Decay is in a way. But State of Decay isn't like it's, it is really unique in its way of like cool trying of placing a big well, a community in the zombie universe and just telling the player to go and survive. But you're not doing the typical thing of like. I need to eat, I need to drink. It's more like, I need to make sure everyone's eating and drinking. Well, ha having the ammo resources and stuff, it, it's more, really the base is the um, supply line um, of whether you survive or not. And I think that's the thing, you need to make it so like, scavenging is a bit more scavengy, but you need to be careful, like, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. It, 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 I am generally happy with it. But I think where the controversy is, where people probably don't like my opinion on it, I do think it was a little bit woke. Um, and a bit Hollywoodized. I had a feeling they were going to do it, like... I I just I I knew they were gonna do it because of all the build up to the trailer and like I, I'm on Twitter all the time, uh, checking up on Undead Labs and there's always signs, you know, like like it's fine. Like Steady Key has always had a little bit of a well, like I don't know. Steady Key's always been good at like. Having every sort of person involved. And it's always worked. Like, Steady K1, when they had the Wilkerson got kid and. What's his Careful, name? Juggernaut. I can't remember. There was a, like a gay relationship in Steady K1. And it worked. Like, it was so natural. It was like, yeah, you can make someone believe it. They had this relationship before the apocalypse and now dealing with it. Juring, so it's a bit complicated. Um, but I feel like the trailer was very Hollywoodized, though. Tick boxing, so I don't care. Like I'm gonna say it, but they had the typical black female lead. Then they had the Asian girl, um, and there was two white guys in it. Uh, the guy in the gut car on his way to pick everyone up and then you ha had the white guy um, and even the girl was like I barely know ya but the guy um, the biggest issue I have like I feel like of course the guy had to sacrifice himself or jump in to try and help the girl as he was about to get jumped but for somehow he gets jumped on instantly and gets ripped apart within seconds and her like like turning around at the last second oh oh no he's getting eaten and then stepping in I, I just didn't buy it I know it's a game and they're trying to highlight the permadeath stuff which is fine which is good but I feel like of course the, the white guy had to go you know um, I just feel like that's such a like you see it all the time, like it, 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 it's always the thing. Like I think, I suppose they made up for it with the guy driving the car, but still, he did fuck. He was just there driving. He was the Uber driver. Um, that's the problem, though. Like I don't, like in the trailer, I don't know why um, they would have brought where they were, like. Um, the girl was like running away from zombies, right? And she was getting in a bit of a faff, but she was fighting everybody, guns blazing, as loud as possible. Um Hey, we need a hand over here. 
and she Are wanted help right? when she could have easily just kept the noise down a little bit. Uh, like this thing, it's a trailer, they're trying to fit a story in within three minutes. Oh, I need to kind of not worry about that, but... Yeah, could be worse. But even in the like end screen when they were doing the memorial, there was like a pride flag. Like, why? I technically, like, if we're going off continuity, I, I don't know when the app, let me have Google. So I wonder if there's like a year or an idea of when the outbreak broke out. When did state... Of decays out break start um, about the last of us what the fuck um when what yeah did stay the case outbreak start uh Let me, mum read it. I doubt they, I don't know if they would have known the year. Possible origins for the outbreak. But yeah, depending on like when the game, like, like the game came out in twenty thirteen, I think. So say that's when the game was set, twenty thirteen time. Which is probably not right. Sorry. Uh, I don't really see a year, anyone mention a year. But like, for me, say the game was set in 2013. That was when the outbreak started. To be fair, I think it could be older, because in State of K1, the vehicles were a lot older looking. In Trumbull Valley, but that was Trumbull Valley. That was a bit more of a country town. But even then, 2013 is a probably a good timeline for this game. Because um, it's more modern, in a way, with the vehicles. Um, but for me, like, 2013 or 2010 time... The whole pride flag thing, like that wasn't really a thing. Nothing here. Like not Surprise. like a movement like it is now. So why would there be a pride pride you could say this is a rainbow flag, but it's not, is it? It's a pride flag. Um 
And I suppose you could say, or, or don't be so. But that's that's the problem there. Like, even if I disagree or don't like this decision, I'll just get gaslighted and say, "Or oh, you're just being a fucking knobhead," and all that shit. And I'm like, nah. Cause I'm tired of that shit. Like, it, it's like this shit destroys franchises because people are tired of it. But. Like, and I'm just worried, like, I think St if State K focuses on the zombie and kind of makes characters believable, even if it is State of K level, State of K 2 level, where it's just in, like, basic shells of characters, you know? I just don't want, like, 20 isbis in my group talking about pronouns and stuff. If that's the case, I am getting a refund and I'm done. Um. Because um, I don't want that, I want a zombie game. And that's the thing, for the most part the trailer was a zombie game. Um, I just think the trailer was very wokeified, and what did they call it? The um, diversity and inclusion policy that they have to do in a lot of media now. Where you have to add this certain amount of people. You have to do this, you have to do this before you write anything else. Um, and you see it in everything. Like, it's like a policy, you have to tick box all these different things, or people, or they, people might not monetize the game or advertise it. It's kind of weird for like something like uh, State, uh, Microsoft to do it, but. No place to put that. I don't know. It's getting into the gaming f sphere now, it's, and it's getting bad. Um, but the problem is, like, like the game studios have got to be careful because gamers aren't fucking movie fans, well, for the most part. Like TV and movie, like t like people who watch TV and that, they don't really care too much. Like they just want to watch something. But they will try and perk up when they fucking think it's bullshit. But gamers, they will say something, and they will say something with their money, and they will rip you into shreds if you take the piss. State of the game is a little bit safer because the community is genuinely good. Like, there's not one bad person in the community. Um, like, for the most part, everyone's like want to really support Undead Labs because they are good. They are a brilliant studio. But this diversion and inclusion stuff does taint stuff for people, especially me. Like, I'm tired of it. Um, and yeah, you can guess more like me if you want, but I, when some of my favourite franchises have been bastardised into this stuff, I'd look at Doctor Who. Like, they get the money of Disney to make the show better, but they still wokeify it and belittle it and turn it into something it isn't, and it's just... It's heartbreaking, man. I I just hate it. And if it's gonna get into games like a like that I love, like State of K, I will move on because like I I'm not like, at least I've got State of K two. Um, but I do like I just feel like I don't know. I'm just worried. That's all. Um. Like when I'm getting attacked by a horde of zombies, I don't want like an MCC or a follower to be like, "Oh, my pronouns are they them." Remember that when I die, or else I would let that person die. Honestly, like fuck you. Not gonna fit. <laughs> honestly, but it is kind of funny though. Like in a way, like if that pride flag is a memorial um, to honor the dead. So, of course the person with the pride flag is dead. How fucking stupid is that, to put that on a memorial thing? Like, if, the, if you aren't going to be woke and stuff, or like, I don't know, respectful to, or like, I don't, at least they're not like being kind of, what would you say, um, 
At least they're not being like, uh... Yeah, I don't know what how you say it, but... At least, like, the game isn't, like... Oh, I'm blanking, really, but... Yeah, I just think it's funny, like, the fact that you have, like, a memorial for the dead and a lot of these items in that pile are, like, people that you probably, you're gonna be PC or really, like, like, they didn't make anyone like a Mary Sue, I suppose, which is kind of good in a way, because they could have done that, they couldn't. Like, if they had, like, a Mary Sue thing, they probably wouldn't have that flag there, or... Maybe they would have, like, a different wall where it's just all heroes that are still alive or something. I'm surprised they didn't do that. Um... The problem is, like, if you're on this side of the line, where you think it's a little bit... You don't really like it, the woke stuff. You get gaslighted by people and you're like, and I, I'm tired of that shit. Because personally, if I get pushed away from this game because um, I disagree with, if you, like, if the game's good and I can look Nothing overlook here. it, because like I can all. overlook a lot of it in State of Decay too, because it's not that bad. It's in Trumbull Valley though. There I'm like. Oh, I don't like Isby. Even though, if she didn't do some of the lines she does do, I would genuinely like her. I think she would be a cool character, but... She is so... Like, talking about Cleo and her they-them pronouns and stuff. So it's like, it's like, no. If it's like that in Steady K3, and it's a more, I don't think I can play it, honestly. Which would be a shame, because like, I've been playing State of 2 since it came out. Six years. So, like... If I can't, like... If I don't have that investment in State of Gate 2... Uh, 3... It's gonna be bad, isn't it? Like... I did manage to save a few bits that should still be useful. Nothing more to find here. Let's go. Right, if I don't have that outlook in State of Key, um, I can't everywhere be this quiet. Yeah, I just don't want to get gaslighted and pushed away. Which I don't think is as bad, like, like... The Doctor Who community is toxic. Like, if you are on the... Left... Side... Or the right, or if you're in the middle... You're gonna get, get gaslighted by someone. And it's like... Fuck you. I know, I know I'm bringing up this subject a bit, but I've had this worry oh, for State much. of Decay before the trailer. Where I felt, I, I feel like they would do it, because like, I know that Undead Labs has had it like, um, a bit of issues with like, like some, like, equality stuff that have been reported by st staff members, I think that came out in the news, I can't really remember the details, but... Like, for me, I, I think that was a bit set up, in a way. I feel like whoever it was targeted at, it was probably bullshit. Because it is probably, a, like, they probably got people in that team that are like, gaslighting people, who usually are actually generally good guys. 
Uh, unless it's like something like an Overwatch thing where like you have proper sly scumbags, then yeah. But honestly, what I've always seen you know, in Dead Labs is generally cool, chill people. You can't really have banter with people anymore. Still a few brainless roaming well. about. <coughs> Rather worry of people trying to cancel you or whatever. Which to me I don't really care too much about. But to be fair, State of K3 did definitely look like, um, it's, it seemed like an upgraded version of State of K2. Because you had the play cart stuff. Like, um, when the first, like, one of the first scenes where he's driving, and you see the view of the forest, um, and you see, like, the red mist, that's play carts. So they're probably bringing some kind of play cart system back. Or continuing it. It's not to turn this into an outpost. And then they're probably going to do Plague Rules from Heartland. So I, I can imagine like uh, roads being blocked off. Um, and then for some reason you have to break them down. Or maybe infestations block roads. Um, so I, I can imagine them doing like uh, what we have uh, with infestations now, the updated version. A lot of this stuff I think that's, is going to be in State of K2. They've just been doing like budget basic versions of it now. And then in the next game they'll probably refine it to be better. Which is kind of good. So I hope you will have like... All... Well, I'd say hopefully a lot of the systems that they've introduced in this in the next useful. game. Because could you imagine if they just went back to basics and it went back to ways to state ways state of key one came out or well, two came out. There was like hardly nothing that was in this. Um so I know that um I already got all I can handle. If only I had room for it. Like they've been working with all these other shoes. I think Wushu Studios is still working with them. Even on State of Gate 3, which is good. Because um, the stuff they've been adding into State of Gate 2 has been good. Too. But yeah, hopefully the the, they've got more people working on the game now. State of Gate 3 is going to be more solid. When it comes out, I'm not going to be broken or buggy. Or, if it is going to be the case where, like, people are pestering them to release the game, and it is unready, I really hope they say, like, okay, we'll release it as game preview or something. So you know it's going to be buggy. My phone's, my controller's dying. Oh. I knew it was going to happen. Maybe I won't make this too long if I'm talking about this. Um, so my controller might not cut out. Locked up tight. <laughs> I can smell them hanging around. I'm not going to find anything else here. But yeah, if the game is really unfinished, but they have been forced to release it, then hopefully they do like game preview or something. I think it would be a good shout for them. So at least people know what they're going to buy. But hey, you know what? I'm going to drive back and I might call it. I know, I know it's a short episode, but... If I'm going to upload this twice on the channel, then I hope you don't matter too much. Um. Yeah, we need to 
come back. I need to charge the truck. But I like the zombie designs, like the... I think I read an article they was talking about the screamer. When it screams, it's got a Monson scream or something. Which just makes me think, like, they're gonna scream like fire and shit now. Um, but I feel like that's what they're gonna do, like all this um, curveball stuff where you got modifiers. They're gonna do that as like, just a random thing you come across. I think that'd be so cool. Where like freaks are like freaks could be any zombie technically if you're not cautious. Like or like if they did the whole curveball thing, that'll be good. But because I I, th I think that's my favourite bit about the curveballs, not the black plague arcs or anything, but um, having like scream like, um, freaks that are like. But like normal zombies just modified. I, I love that. I think that's my favourite thing in the game at the minute. Um, like the Black Play guys, they could take or leave. I think they kind of get in the way. Um, but yeah, like I'd, I'd love to see what hear what people think. Like I know I'm a bit negative on the woke stuff, but it's just that I've been burnt so much with. So many franchises that I used to like, and now it's just a joke. And I'm just, I don't want Steady Gate to be here another one because I love Steady Gate. And I just, I don't want to get my uh, gaslight to be pushed away because I will do it, I will move on. But, I, I, ever since um, Xbox Arcade on 360, it's like leave a franchise like this it's hard but if you want other another kind of audience to be interested in your game then fine um, but if you are going to do this work stuff just please don't make it so in your face and eye rolling because it's so boring make it believable like State of K1 did it fine gay relationships and stuff like them topics it was fine back then um it was kind of a nice basic storyline in a way but it just worked and it was natural but i feel like modern like what they might do in this game is going to be completely on the able path of like pronouns pride flags everywhere I don't know. I don't like being negative like that, but it, it just worries me because so much has been tainted by people that can't write or create stuff that is entertaining anymore. Because it can't be entertaining, it has to be lecture. And that just kills me when stuff is like that. Hey, um, pal. What's new and horrible today? But like in general, like the combat looked good, like for the trailer. We didn't really see much, but it was more over the salt shoulder. Like the gameplay looked good, the weapon designs looked good. Um, I'll probably talk about more in the next episode, but less of a review. Like this is more like what I thought of it. Uh, the other thing is, there's no release date. Like a lot of the other Xbox games, they had like 25, 2025 releases. Uh, State of K had nothing, so I wouldn't be surprised 26, 26 but I kind of hope so. Honestly, I, I don't want State of K to be rushing out State of K3. I think it can wait, um, especially if it's going to be next gen only. I think they can generally wait, but um, yeah, overall, like State of K. Three. It looks all right. It looks like an improved State of K2, which maybe a lot of people don't really want because they played State of K2 to death. But I'm glad it was more focused on like the human side, zombie side, gunplay, perma death in a way. Even though I don't like the whole <laughs> like that guy, he definitely was on purposely killed in that way. I think I feel like, but. 
it, it just happens all the time now. Where the white guy has to die first. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. The vehicle looked good. Like, I see, like, a lot of the weapons and stuff, it feels like handcrafted stuff. So I don't know if they're going to go with more modular. So, like, you can put a new barrel on, scope. Like, you have a bit more choice in what you actually do with your weapons. Like, the weapons, maybe more of a dying light thing. Where it's a bit more like... Uh, maybe you can have electric on your weapon or something. Maybe that would be cool. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. But I think in general, like, Stay the Key 3. I'm excited for it. But I am worried. Massively. Um... Uh, I just don't want it to be a woke mess, and I, I don't. I, I have faith in Undead Labs a lot more than other studios because they have done topic. They have done like the whole different topics right in the past, and and have made it work. Um, but I think the issue will be. Um, Is if it is a different team now, like it, it is a much bigger team now. It's not like the small indie studio it was before. Um, so I feel like maybe there's a chance they got, they've got infiltrated and they're uh, getting manipulated. Maybe Microsoft is getting involved in how they, what they have in the game. But I don't know. Hope if it's like Stadia K2 where. It, the NPCs and stuff, they're not like talking your ear off all the time. It might not be as bad. Like, if it's the same sort of thing where people just bring it up in conversation with certain elements, then fine. Because um, some some of the radios in State of K2 are a bit like. Like, you have like your different groups. And I can imagine like an LGBTQ group that will pop up on the radio. I will not be surprised. Um, or like a lesbian group where it's just all women in a uh, uh, I just can imagine it if they're gonna go a bit more story driven where like there's a bit more backstory and things and stuff, then I can imagine they do something like that. But that's just me being like in the mindset of what Hollywood do, would do. Um, because it is infiltrating gaming now, like, a lot of games right now, you can see it, like, Outlast 2, a few years back, like, that was bad, Outlast 2 was awful. Um, but, like, even more recent games, it's just, you can see it, and, like, it's just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not very good at this, explaining what I'm, I'm thinking, but... I think the trailer was alright. I definitely prefer them the first one because the zombie animals might be cool, but I just don't know how that will play in a game like Stadia K. Um, unless it's more wildernessy and there's less zombies and you're more just in the forest. I don't know. It'll have to be interesting to see how it works or plays out. Cause it's like what I've heard is like instead of it being like the multiplayer will be more like you're more in a shared community um than like you know, like in State of Gate 2's multiplayer you're just tagging along if you're joining someone and you're just helping out it's let and then and you have less choice on what actually happens on the server or map um so I think State of the 2 is going to be a little bit more interesting. So maybe it's going to be less about big communities. And it's going to be more about like a small group of people. Maybe like making tents, camps and stuff. Maybe more of like a forest vibe. Um, I don't know. I don't think you'd be cutting down trees and stuff. I think it will be 
you probably find a building and maybe you can make any building a base. Maybe that's an option, but I don't know. I feel like there's going to be set bases still. I feel like it will be just a almost a remake or a remaster. Yeah, more remake of State of Gate 2. Because a lot of the trailer reminded me of State of Gate 2's trailer. Oh, the wooded forest area again. The There was a little bit of rain as well. Like puddles of water. So I think there's still internet weather. There was no sign of snow. So unless they're adding like um, seasons and weather, like or if there is multiple maps, but I don't, I'm not sure. It seemed like it was the same sort of map location as the first game. Well, the first trailer. So like the forest wooded area. So maybe they've got like every time you load in, it's a different terrain or weather type. Maybe I can imagine that being a thing, or legit, it's like the forest where there's seasons, which would be cool. Because um, it, it would be kind of cool as a forever community or something, and seeing the change in the map, and the weather and stuff. But it'll be interesting to see if they do multiple maps, or is it going to be one big map? Um, I think one big map will work, but they've got to be careful. Because you have something like Trumbull Valley, which is so iconic. Sure, not the the elements. There's a lot of elements in that map that one there, and kind of basic. It's just a loop. But even in State of K2, a lot of the maps are the same. Big loop. Um, so it'd be interesting to kind of change up the terrain a little bit. But if it's just a big foresty map. With small towns again, I think that's kind of what we've had before. I think a lot of people would have liked to have seen cities or like proper, like like little town areas and stuff, like proper villages. Like if it's America, like more suburban stuff. Like you have hints of it in this. Like Trumbull Valley is the best place for it, I suppose. But like yeah, definitely Trumbull Valley is like perfect, like city. Oh, town, and then you've got country towns and farmland. Like that's why Trumbull Valley is so good, I think, because you have the big city area, like vibe. No, uh, more town. Would yeah, town. Um, and then you've got like the smaller town near the church and stuff. Like, like yeah, State of K two. They've got to compete with Trumbull Valley. Whereas Province Ridge, Drucker County, um, Mega Valley. I honestly all the base game state of K2 maps. Pro Providence Ridge is alright, but still. It's still not Trumbull Valley. Trumbull Valley is the one map that has that big town in it. And it's a big um, location for people to like build in. Well, survive in, you know, like it's it's kind of what you expect in a zombie game, especially in like an American setting, like Walking Dead vibe, in it, uh, where you go from countryside to big town area. Whereas, I think a lot of the other, like the kind of the maps that were built for State of K2, they were kind of, or are, they're, they've been improved, but they are very like the towns are small. Like you have one or two blocks. A um, few buildings, a few stores, that's it. Um, but yeah. I think that if they're going to do a big map, or one map, they need to make it more like State of K1, where you've got a big area where it's buildings. You've got forest, farmland. You, you need If you're going to put, bring it down to one map, you need to make it bigger, you need to make it diverse with all different types of landscapes um, because if it is just forest land and it is just like say the long dark or something I think people could get a bit have a problem with it or bored with it and they'll be you'll find out hang on where's the third and fourth map because the thing is the reason why State of K2 was good for that is because it did kind of provide a little bit differently 
in the layout what you actually got in the map but at the end of the day you, you legit had three maps where they put all these resources into different areas like why couldn't we just add all these three maps connected as one but uh, uh, that's the thing the trailer didn't really show much it was really more the direction and the idea of it which I think is more state of the game which is good but I'm just worried about the writing and like the messaging in it I feel like there's going to be the message and I think that might be a problem but I don't know in general like I'm I'm relatively happy with it and I'm in a way I'm kind of happy they ain't put a date down because I think it would get delayed I think a lot of the games next year are going to be delayed but there's a lot of cool games coming out next year uh, Gears of War E-Day, can't wait for that Doom Game looks good, I can't remember It's um, The Old Order or something Or something Like Pretty much get, like Doom but saying like Medieval times, it's pretty cool um, But yeah, I think if anything uh, we'll, we'll leave it there for State of K2 um, we'll be back with some more of the Whisperers in the next few days. It was less of about the Whisperers today, but we did a bit of looting. But I think what my plan is, once we've killed all the play cards, which might be by next episode, we'll see. But then I think my plan is to go into Callisto Protocol. I know I said State of Sanctuary the third, but Callisto Protocol has been put on Game Pass, and there's an Xbox One version. So I'm thinking. Because it's from Dead Space play, uh, from the Dead Space devs. I would like to play it because I can't play the remake or remaster. I know Callisto Protocol has a lot of bad reviews and stuff. It's not as like infamous as Dead Space, but I would like to give it a try. We'll see what it's like. Um, but if not, um, I think my plan is to alternate between this and. Uh, gas station for now then we'll probably go in Callisto and gas station and then probably going to Sanctuary of the Third and gas station and then after that will be probably stay the key unless if we go for that long with uh, gas station but I have got the gas station DLC now air, air hang, uh, what's the airship DLC or something I did buy that um, don't know if I mentioned it before but yeah, we're getting back into it. I know that we did a lot of Sea of Thieves recently, but um, I'm glad I'm getting back into this. But um, if anything, I'll leave you there today. We'll be back with some more. Uh, Stay the K2 in the next few days, but um, keep an eye out. We've got guest station coming up. Uh, check out some of the Sea of Thieves. They look quite long though. But And then we've got my main Let's Plays, uh, Red Dead Redemption and fallout so there's a lot of variety a lot of things going on but i think if anything we'll leave it there today and we'll be back with some more in the next few days so as always thanks for watching you've been watching and i'll see you all in the next one